my fellow Belizeans, I need periodically to bring you up to date on our war against COVID-19. And it is for that purpose that I address you now. There are, of course, two basic fronts to our campaign, the medical and the socio-economic. Regarding the medical, I am certain that we are making every effort to do the right things. The nationwide lockdown is one sure way of helping to contain the spread of the virus. Accordingly, that lockdown will be made to run at least its 14-day course. The core medical team, tirelessly led by Dr. Marvin Manzanero, is receiving more expert support than ever. Several additional medical personnel have joined the National Task Force and have been given various critical assignments. Gaps and omissions are being addressed in as inclusive a manner as possible, in which connection the preliminary understanding reached with the KHMH union is key. Ample testing has always been our necessary objective and a decisive increase is now in full flood. This has been made possible by the acquisition of a better than sufficient supply of test kits, accompanied as well by the procurement of more PPEs. We are therefore well armed to pursue and try to control the Belize City and San Ignacio outbreaks, the COVID-19 clusters. I say again, that we are as fortified as we can be in combating this most deadly and elusive of enemies. And I salute all those, especially the frontline health and essential workers that have been in the vanguard of our press against this demon foe. I also remind Belizeans though, that you are the ground troops in this battle. So hold the safety standard high. Wear your mask, practice good hygiene, adhere to social distancing, lend a hand to your neighbor, and please refrain from spreading rumors.